Yes, we do, right? Politique. Oh, okay. So As Donald Trump's national security advisor, how big of a threat do you say Donald Trump poses to our national security? Well, I think the basic problem is he's not really fit to be president. Uh, he, he, having served four years, uh, you know, he came into the White House not knowing much about how the government operated, not knowing much about national security. And uh, over a four year period, he didn't manage to learn very much. He doesn't appreciate the issues. Uh, he doesn't uh, focus on uh, strategy, philosophy, policy. He doesn't do any of that, as, as many people have observed uh, across the range of uh, government affairs. He's anecdotal, ad hoc, transactional. Uh, and worst of all, he sees everything through the prism of how does this benefit Donald Trump? So when you come to trying to make decisions on national security issues, he's not focused on what's at stake for the United States, what our options are, uh, how we can protect our interests uh, uh, in, in the most effective way. Policy, he doesn't do any. All right. So, Deuce, brother, let me bring you in here. This um, this guy right here, he was the um, for, former national security uh, advisor for Donald Trump during his uh, time in office. <laughs> And obviously, this isn't an endorsement. So, how do you feel about that? You're the closest to a uh, Trump supporter that we have. Not that you are a Trump supporter, but he uh, seems um, seems a little bitter. He got fired, but that's all right. I mean, <laughs> that happens. Yeah, he went down the drain with the rest of the swamp that totally got drained. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was one of the he was one of the corrupt motherfuckers on his team in the beginning. That got that fired. was yeah, yeah. He was the corrupt one. None, none, no, no, there was a group none of, none of them corrupt bastards in for it. that just, he hired. That were on the left. He hired people so, from the left and the right for his cabinetcy and got fucked by both. So I know you're not a supporter of Biden, but um, is there any part of you that thinks that Trump isn't right to lead, or do you do you feel comfortable with that? What do you mean? So, oh. like what he was just saying, he said he's not fit to lead for several reasons. He's selfish. I mean, yeah. uh, he's not well informed on civics and what his duties would be. Uh, Doesn't take national security seriously. Yeah. So, I mean, he's named a shit ton of reasons. Um, now, I, whether you think those are valid reasons or not is a whole other thing. But uh, I'm just wondering from your perspective, do you want? Do you agree with that, or do you see that him being a better side of his neck, brother? That you said what? But just talking on the side of his neck, dude. Doesn't just, matter. Just, 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 no president is equipped ever to handle any of the things they deal with. If well, that might be fair. I you mean, believe that? Fair, then I guess. You're yeah. just I want to talk in those terms. You're you're insane. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just like people saying that nobody's nobody is ready to be a parent, of course. But there's a yeah. way to prepare for police officer and all <laughs> no, that. No, I mean, you can't prepare. You can prepare all you want to until you do it. You, you never know. You, you don't know if you can. No, but you're right. But that's why your criticism is kind of like uh, bullshit a little bit because it's like you can say that literally about anybody. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's my point. Oh, okay. So, okay. It's, okay. so it's just well, like, <laughs> you know, you, 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 you can always criticize someone's preparedness, right? I mean, yeah, sure. it is what it is. It's a crazy yeah. job. You know, I mean, like, nothing really can compare okay, you to you. be the leader. Okay, of the so let me, I, I don't want to make this about Biden. I just want to make this as simple as possible. Let's make this literally just about Trump. You, you want me to, to chop it down. Well, no, I'm just curious where your stance is because I know where Paul's stance already is. So I'm kind of curious where you would stand because I don't, <laughs> I honestly don't know where you stand. So it's like, do you think that Donald Trump would be good for, and like I said, don't consider necessarily Biden because I know how you feel in contrast to Biden. But right. just if you were making that decision on your own, where would you kind of land with that? Do you think? Okay. Well, don't you have to go versus a competition? But if okay, well, it if does because that's the only option we're ha we have. But I think if we made it that, then we would probably both agree that they're both terrible options in general. At least me and you, and then Paul would be probably not that far off from us even. Well, um, if we look at Donald Trump's history. track record with yeah. foreign policy, yeah. I mean, yeah. he didn't start any wars. He was already, but he was already in a war. Well, he inherited one, but he didn't start any new ones. Yeah, which he didn't get us out of. He, um, well, he had a he had a long term plan. Yeah. Remember, and then when Biden came in, they basically like, yeah, fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna make this, we're gonna expedite this, we're gonna we're gonna do it, just you know, rip off the band aid. So by the know? way, yeah. So here, because I want, I think, I want to add context to your answer, and I want you to address this. Um, so he didn't have any wars that he got into. So a lot of people would say, like for example, the Israel conflict that we're in right now, and moving the embassy to Jerusalem is pretty controversial. That's one of the things that he did. Um, and obviously, is Israel loves that, but a lot of people would say that that was one of the things that 
you know, incited this kind of if like appease fervor. Israel, then don't appease Israel, brother. We got to take a stand. You know what I'm saying? We, we need to go rock with them all the way, or we're not going to rock with them. It's How many American lives just, have, have we been We just taken? got one foot in the door on uh, Israel and one foot out the door with Israel on every, and, on every, on every topic, brother. It's just crazy. We're going to give them money, but we ain't going to fight the war. You know so, what I'm saying? So, we going to so, give them so, the mosque. Or whatever it is, but now it's Donald Trump's <laughs> fault because we started the war because we gave him the mosque. Oh, is it? Like, you wanted to give him the mosque. It was an episode. So, was an so episode. over the last three years, <laughs> Biden has started how many wars? <laughs> zero. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the answer is zero. He yeah. hasn't started it. America I mean, we involved. In America wars. isn't in a war, but we are. We are. Wars. We are ally is in a war, which again, that has nothing which to really do with, which we're helping to financially back. But again, but that's again, what you were, if Trump yeah. was in office, I would, uh, I would assume that he too would follow the, 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 the what you're supposed he to do. He he but again, again, so <laughs> that's again, you like, saying like, that, that him saying like, he like, like but that's the years. point though, <laughs> that like, like he's making is that there are fucking rules to foreign policy. Yeah. And this guy just doesn't take it seriously as in a, a no, it's treaty. Not rules. It's called, it's called, there it's are. It's good for if your, your fucking ally is involved, there are certain rules. We have NATO protections. We have UN protections. Didn't I did tell you Biden America said he's follow. not going to support the Israel, uh, Hamas, uh, Iran, the, the Iran bombing and shit. And then he, and the, come on, man. So it's like, what are you saying? It's not just Trump. It's a, it's it's for it's smart oh, foreign, for foreign policy for the United States of America. Yes. It's so again, again, let's. Let's. Add, cause I want to ask Paul because you. I think you're touching on an interesting thing, so I want to make it more straightforward for you, Paul. Mm -hmm. um, so, do you view the support in any way as we're in a war, or do you see this as like something completely separate? I I, I think of it as something that's completely separate. Again, okay. Uh, okay. Our ally, we we don't have anybody on ground. We don't have any troops there. We're not fighting a war. Are we aiding an ally who is fighting a war? Yes. Now again, that is through policy that we have to abide, abide uh, you know, oblige what by. Do you mean? One of our ships got attacked, and we attacked the ship in 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 the waters out there already. What do you What do you mean? We've been involved in that in okay. that war over All right. Israel. Okay. Okay, but right. but what he's saying isn't wrong as far as like the like Jesus. groups uh, the troops on the ground and, and, and like nothing that. happened with any with any ships any anything under Trump's presidency, right? Like 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 come you on. You heard it a war. I already said that. I We're mean, talking about. Okay, so but. Whatever. Again, again, it, it is what it is. But again, <laughs> these hate, are new uh, wars, brother. I'm just saying, national security wars. is is a major threat to the original conversation. Like, uh, as far as like, our national security is a major Israel, threat. No, hold on, hold on. Let him finish this. I, I, I think the the future help with Israel, like like where Biden is coming out saying like like listen, like you're on your own with this one with Iran. Mm -hmm. We've talked about this. This is where like I feel like the, the nuance has to come into play. Where it's like we have aided so much to where there's so much that you feel like you're getting lied to about, like with the food strike. Uh, where where, where it, Israel comes and, and hits the food aid and it's like oh well we're sorry about that that was an accident and there's all this to where it's like you know what maybe on this maybe Biden and them are listening to the American people where it's like we don't yeah. want to so, do so you, again I don't know what that's where like, we've talked before I don't know the exact policies do I don't think, know the because well, you mentioned policies like they have an obligation so this is obviously a point where Biden or whoever the US military they're choosing to exercise some level of like discretion and not get mm -hmm. involved in this so why do we not assume that they have that same option to not get involved in <clears throat> like Israel's fight with Gaza which honestly they can handle they're a superior fighting force they don't really need our help you know no I know yeah. I, I I think that at first to you, got to Gaza I'm saying yeah, yeah. I, I feel like at first you respond how you're supposed to respond and then again you, okay. get, you gather new information again yeah. I don't know the exact I, I'm not. I'm not in there. I'm not sure, a political absolutely. science major. I don't know the exact ins and outs of what we're allowed and we're not. I know that there are rules and policies in place. Okay. So right. So um, as far as like like with the video that we watched, who is that? Steve Bannon, I believe, right? The one that we just watched. Yeah. Oh, who, I don't who's that remember. talking? I forget. Uh, um, but uh, with, with that, if, if that was the only person who worked I with Trump it. or under Trump during during that time that came out and said something, and he had a book coming out. I'd say take with a major grain of salt. And this is somebody that has something he's gaining. When it's been everybody who hasn't been indicted and found guilty of some shit coming out and saying like, "Hey, listen, like he's a threat to national security. He doesn't take his job seriously. He's lousy at this. Um, 
like like you you have to take it when when you have people coming out saying he is a threat to the democracy people who worked with him people who were his friends come out saying like hey listen like i have to leave start, turn my back on when you have a uh, republican congressman right now uh giving up seats in in the house abandoning seats saying hey listen we're out we're out of the party we're done with this you have to take no you have to see that there is a reason, and we can oh, go. Conspiracy. Okay, you're you're, you're right. rambling now. You're saying a lot of things that we can't speculate to be true or not. I, I haven't heard anything. True. I have not heard anything about Republicans just giving up seats in the House and the Senate Google that, that are okay, hard, we, that are so hard fought for that they barely even have in the first place. I, I, I've sh I've shared the article. If you didn't click on it, that's well, it hurts. I, really I mean, who are you talking about? You talking about that yeah. one girl that just lost? What is her name? Uh, hey, real know. quick, real quick, uh, and I'm going to look more into this, but uh, this is just the core answer. I, I just think it's kind of interesting. So if the, if the NATO member state is attacked on territory belonging to them north of the Tropic of Cancer, yes, otherwise no. This is and the question I asked is, uh, does this, does a country have to uh, support its allies if they go to war? War. Okay. Um, this is, and then they said this is why the UK could not invoke Article Five and get all of NATO to gang up on Argentina in 1982 when it attacked the Falkland Islands. The treaty is directed against the USSR in Russia and is therefore only applicable in the Northern Hemisphere. Oh, it's very interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, the, the Israel Hamas ship shouldn't be involved there, and the Russian ship. We well, it's northern. Started, it's just, so. Technically, that would be Northern Hemisphere still, but yeah, and it's interesting that it's specifically. Cold War specifically centered around Russia, and that's one of I mean that's obviously one of the big uh, uh, sticking points with the Ukraine war it, it, with them not wanting Ukraine to join NATO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so really well, interesting. No, they, the main point was don't put bombs you know on our border, but that, not you know. join NATO, not join NATO. Therefore, the bombs be there. Let's not get fucking too into the weeds, brother. Uh, but I'm just saying, well, they, we put the bombs there, and they they didn't join NATO. They still put the bombs there. So I mean, <laughs> what, what what are we saying? Now they have the the perfect reason to do so. Well, uh, the bombs they because Russia was said, oh, you put bombs there, we're gonna go. Ahead and take those bombs thank you now what i mean who knows if they have bombs in ukraine but i mean i, I would be hard pressed whether they have they leveled wouldn't. they have leveled parts of ukraine they they have well, i'm saying bombs. like american bombs but either way let's not get caught up in this let's go ahead and move on to the next thing um so this is just a funny video so basically i'm working for at&t and if you got like oh. 